Hey guys, welcome to part 2 of the Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra review. In this episode, we will be comparing the cameras specifically of the S24 Ultra and the iPhone 50 Pro. So let's get started. By the way, if you haven't seen part 1 of this review, I talked about my experience switching from the iPhone 15 Pro to the Galaxy S24 Ultra. Link to that video is in the description, which is close to the subscribe and like button, which I don't mind if you press those as well. All right, let's get into comparing photos of the main camera of these two phones. Here are two photos. Before I disclose which photo captured which, I want to give you guys a few seconds to choose which one you like. Pause the video if you need more time and three, two, one, there you go. So we have the S24 Ultra on the left and iPhone 15 Pro on the right. As you can see, both phones are pretty good, but they make very different aesthetic choices. With the iPhone, it makes the image much more contrasty, so you get deeper blacks and darker shadows. Some people might like this better because it makes the photo pop more, but in my personal taste, I like less contrasty images better. And that's because of how people will look like in the picture. When there's darker shadows, I feel like people's flaws are more exposed, resulting to people looking less pleasant. You'll also see Samsung having some sort of a fade effect because of the non-contrasty aesthetic it is choosing. Here's another photo. Can you guess which is which? If you guess S24 Ultra on the left, then you are correct. The same holds true on what I have mentioned before. The S24 Ultra produces less contrasty images, and in this case, pinker skin and warmer use, which I love. The colors just look much better on the Samsung. Here's a few more examples reiterating what I have mentioned and it's very consistent. My preference is also very consistent to be the Galaxy S24 Ultra. Now on these next photos, the iPhone is better on a technical level since the noise is less on my shirt but also it is too contrasty that the details are just gone. So yes, Still Samsung on this one. Now it's time for nighttime shots. So these photos were taken at nighttime, but there are bright lights shining because there's a singer just behind us. Do you guys have a preference? From my taste, I think I like the right photo better because it's brighter and warmer. This is the iPhone 15 Pro. Next, we have the singer that I was talking about. In this case, I think the S24 Ultra is better because I think the iPhone is too bright on the edges like the ground. In the S24 Ultra, there's emphasis on the subject. And then here's another photo of me and I prefer the S24 Ultra much better. The overly contrast photos of the iPhone just took it to level 100 and it ruined the photo for me. The S24 Ultra looks so much better since you can see more details. Same situation here, iPhone overly contrasty while S24 Ultra made sure to expose everything. In real life, the S24 Ultra looks more real life too. Next, we are inside a mall. Still nighttime, so there's not much natural light. And in this case, I like the iPhone shot better because it's not overly contrasty and the S24 Ultra is a bit underexposed. Same thing here, I think the S24 Ultra is a bit underexposed while the iPhone got it perfectly. The bright pink neon sign also pops way more on the iPhone 15 Pro. Finally, we have a portrait mode image on the main camera. I think the iPhone has a better cutout on this one, but the colors on the S24 Ultra are just way better that I don't care if the cutout is a bit worse. Anyway, personally, I don't use portrait mode because I don't really like that fake bokeh effect. So to me, it doesn't really matter which is better here. By the way, let me know your preferences as well in the comments below. I'm curious to know if you guys mostly like Samsung or iPhone shots. I think it's very clear that my preference is Samsung on the main camera, but that doesn't mean Samsung would be better on all the cameras. Now, let's go to the ultra wide lens. Oh, and by the way, if you guys are wondering what cases I'm using on the phones, this is a Pitaka case on the Galaxy S24 Ultra in their sunset colorway. And this is Mujo's full leather case in burgundy for the iPhone. Such a beautiful color. Link in the description for you to check them out. It also helps the channel if you click on those links. Thanks. For the ultra wide lens, it is pretty much the same story as the main camera. The S24 Ultra prefers a warmer, less contrasty image, which is what I prefer. And the iPhone prefers a brighter, cooler image. In this last photo, even though I prefer Samsung in terms of colors, for some reason, it removed detail from the floor, the walls, and the chair. It's very weird, but overall though, I still prefer the S24 Ultra. Next is the 3X telephoto lens. So both of these phones have a 3X telephoto lens since this iPhone is not the 15 Pro Max. Let's see who wins. On first sight, I do like the iPhone shot here better, but I kind of have a bias towards warmer pictures. But 
Looking at the leaves, I do like that the S24 Ultra is not over sharpened and has deep green rather than yellow green. Then here, overall, I prefer the Samsung one and both pictures are actually not that different except for one thing, sharpness. On iPhone, it's sharp, but it's too sharp like it's going to cut you. It gives you the feeling of fake sharpness unlike the S24 Ultra where it's more natural. So again, the Galaxy S24 Ultra wins in this category. As for the 5X lens, the iPhone 15 Pro doesn't have a 5X lens. So automatically, the Galaxy S24 Ultra wins this because its results are just much better. Important to note, on iPhone land, there is a trade-off. The iPhone 15 Pro doesn't have a 5X lens, but the iPhone 15 Pro Max does. Now the 15 Pro Max doesn't have a 3X lens and the iPhone 15 Pro has one. So there is a trade-off over there. On the Galaxy S24 Ultra, it offers both 3X and 5X physical lenses, so it offers the best of both worlds. No trade-off needed. Next, we have the selfie camera, which for some, it is the most important one. In here, I think it's pretty straightforward. The S24 Ultra selfie cam is not good. Here's an example. In this photo, if you check my face and skin, the S24 Ultra looks really Flat. And if you check the plant behind me or the background, something's going on there that it really lacks details. Same goes with my shirt, it lacks so much detail on the S24 Ultra. Here's another one, look at the face of my girlfriend, it really lacks details on the S24 Ultra, especially the background. If the other cameras were in close competition to each other, like the other one is one level down compared to the other, this one feels like it's two to three levels down, so the S24 Ultra looks quite horrendous. Finally, in terms of video, here's a bunch of side-by-side -side video so you can judge for yourself first, then I'll tell my conclusion right after. Hey guys, so this is a video test of the selfie camera. I have the S24 Ultra here on my left and the iPhone 15 Pro on my right. I am here uh, at Porch Coffee, as you may have seen from all the photos and videos I have been showing you guys which one is better, S24 Ultra or the iPhone 15 Pro. There's also a mic battle so you guys can hear me on both. I'll be probably switching from one phone to another. Uh, tell me which one is better. Okay, so if you guys are vlogging and walking, this is the performance. Which one is more stable? I don't know. It seems like the S24 Ultra is more stable right here. It looks really good. So again, this is a video comparison of the S24 Ultra and the iPhone 15 Pro. This also compares on how the mic picks up my voice. The S24 has a Zoom mic, so hopefully you can hear me. So now we're here on 3X for the S24 Ultra, which has a dedicated 3X um, sensor as well as the iPhone 15 Pro, so this should be a fair comparison. And again, this is going to be a comparison between the two mics. Um, which one is picking me up better, is it the S24 Ultra and the iPhone 15 Pro? Can you share? Open it for me. Oh, okay. And then next. Oh, mac and cheese. I'm the bread and bread. Mac and cheese. The one that I didn't see. Rice.
So in terms of the main camera, ultrawide, and zoom during daytime, they're pretty much even all throughout. Sometimes they make different decisions in terms of contrast, but they're very much the same when it comes to sharpness. That is with all the cameras in the rear, but when it comes to the selfie camera, the iPhone wins hands down. I think Samsung included a pretty bad sensor in front and they had to do a lot of sharpening that makes it really look bad and over sharpened. During the nighttime though, the iPhone wins all throughout. The S24 Ultra is having a really tough time keeping the noise levels down as well as keeping everything exposed properly. I see a lot of blown highlights and crushed shadows on the S24 Ultra. Now when it comes to mic quality, the S24 Ultra picks up more sounds on the mids and treble end so talking to the camera makes it clearer. On the iPhone, it picks up more bass and makes the video sound more true to life. So this one depends on your preference. I do like the iPhone better because watching back videos I captured takes me back to that moment better. In conclusion, the S24 Ultra edges out on many of the photo categories based on my taste. It is a bit better on the main camera, the zoom, and the ultrawide. In terms of the selfie cam though, the iPhone is much, much better. In terms of video, they are pretty much neck and neck during the daytime, but at nighttime and the selfie camera, the iPhone 15 Pro is much better. It is also important to note that the photo taking experience is better on the iPhone in my opinion. The photo it shows on the viewfinder is much closer to how it will actually look like once you take the photo, so that's an aspect I appreciate a lot. On the S24 Ultra, it unfortunately shows a very grainy, noisy image preview, which is not confidence-inspiring. Okay, so if I would have to choose one over the other, which one will I choose? Based on all these testing, on categories that the S24 Ultra wins, they are either taste preferential that you can change on photo editing apps or they are only a little bit better. But in categories where the iPhone wins, they are two to three levels more superior. So overall, the iPhone 15 Pro is more consistent. So I would take it over the S24 Ultra when it comes to the camera. All right, so that's it for this video. Making these reviews are a lot of work. So I would appreciate if you can give this video a like and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Don't forget to leave your thoughts in the comments below. I want to know which one for you is better. Is it the S24 Ultra or the iPhone 15 Pro? All right, shout out to Jaja for following me on Instagram. If you'd like to have a shout out as well, please follow me on my socials. Okay, thanks for watching. This has been Marion, your technology friend, and I'll see you on my next video.